In this demo, I want to illustrate the use of data labels to help us understand the results of an analysis with a small sample. The data set that I have is in this Excel spreadsheet. So I have three variables. Latitude of a particular state in the United States, cancer diagnosis per thousand people in that particular state, and population with ages greater than 65 or seniors per state. I also have a data label variable which lists the name of the state in the USA for which the numeric data was collected. And I have 51 rows because the District of Columbia, Columbia is being listed here as a state. So I want to build a model that will allow us to test a couple of hypotheses. One is that latitude will be associated with cancer diagnosis. The higher the latitude of a particular state, the lower is the likely uh, human exposure to sunlight in that state. And there is reason to believe that the more sunlight exposure, the less cancer diagnosis one will find in that state because of uh, the vitamin D, D levels produced in that particular scenario. And we also want to see if the population of seniors, percentage of seniors in a state, leads to an increase in cancer diagnosis because we have reasons to believe that there is a relationship between age and cancer. And we want to control for each other. So let me read this data into the software by going to the option create project file. So we'll go to this area and I'm going to create a project with name temp01 I will read data from from the file and that's going to be in Excel new Excel spreadsheet so I'm going to be reading now the numeric data which is in the first uh, work sheet, first sheet of the workbook. Next, finish. So here's my data. It seems to have been read properly. Now I'm going to pre process this data. No problems with the data. The standardized data looks correct. I'm going to define my model now. So I'll create my latent variables. Latitude. These are not technically latent variables because they have only one indicator each. Cancer diagnosis, call it cancer. And we'll call this seniors, population greater than, percentage of the population greater than 65 years of age. So I'm going to create a simple model where I'll make each of these two possible predictors point at cancer incidence. I'll save my model and close. I will make sure that my settings are linear. Since these variables, they are measured through one single indicator, it doesn't really matter which algorithm I use. I'll just use robust path analysis for computer efficiency, computational efficiency. I'll save my settings now run my analysis. So I have a very strong effect of 
seniors and cancer incidence. So the percentage of seniors in the population is very strongly associated with cancer incidence. And the latitude seems to be significantly associated with cancer incidence as well. So both of my hypotheses are supported. And these two variables, latitude and scene, percentage of seniors, they control for one another. Now, what I want to do now is to read the labels, um, create a new label variable, state with the name of, names of the states. So I'm going to go to the option, modify, add labels from clipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. I'm going to click on this column. I'm going to press Control C to copy the contents of this column into the clipboard. I'm going to go to the option Add Data Labels from Clipboard. I'll click OK. Clipboard Wizard appears. Here's the labels, which are the names of the states. I'm going to click Yes. Now, I'm going to go to the option View, Save Analysis Results. I will see the plots. And then I'll take a look at the plot between latitude and cancer incidence. And I'm going to the option View, Relationship Graphs with Data Points and Labels. And I will take a look at the multivariate relationship graphs with data points and labels, unstandardized scales. Now here, I will go to the option Settings, and I will choose my data label, State. And now I can see this graph, which helps me interpret the data. And as we can see here, the higher the latitude, the less likely that uh, people will have a lot of uh, sunlight exposure, the higher is the cancer incidence. But notice that there are a couple of points here that are a little bit strange. They are outliers. Alaska is the big one. And then we have Florida. So why is it that Alaska is an outlier? And we can, and in Florida as well, we can get a clarification on that by looking at the other relationship that we have, which is between seniors and cancer incidence. So if I go to the same type of graph and look at, and, and, and use that data label and look at the results, I see that Alaska has a very small incident, as a very small percentage of the population, uh, they are seniors, uh, compared to Florida. So what we end up seeing here is that Alaska is an outlier in the previous graph because the, a lot of the, the great deal of the population is young, even though the latitude of Alaska is high. So there isn't a lot of sun exposure, sunlight exposure there. But a lot of the population, a great deal of the population is young in Alaska, so you're going to have lower incidence of cancer. Whereas Florida, you have uh, the highest among all the states in the United States, the highest uh, percentage of seniors living there, so you have more cancer. So by having these um, the, uh, the, the data labels here with the names of the states, I can better understand these results here that I obtained in my model. And my hypotheses are supported here that, yeah, uh, age seems to be associated with cancer very strongly, and latitude also significantly uh, associated with cancer, and they control for one another. So latitude is associated with cancer, uh, in a significant way, even with this small sample, when we control for the percentage of seniors living in that particular state. 
and this concludes this demo on how to use data labels to better understand results of an analysis with WAR PLS.